Hi and welcome to my channel. So there's good news because the UK government recently made a massive update when it comes to the UK visit visa and working in the UK. This is something that has been ongoing for like the last three months and in the last few days or so i've had more and more people contact me regarding this and that's why i felt the need to do this video to talk about this working on a uk visit visa is it possible and if it is possible what are the situations that you're allowed to legally work on a visit visa i'm saying this because there are now many people stranded in this country and more people will be coming saying i can just take any visa for, as a visitor and then come and work in the uk so i'm going to be clearing the air as far as this is concerned so if you're new to my channel you're obviously welcome and if you haven't joined this family take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when i'm dropping a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time i've been in the uk for like 13 years now and i currently work for the nhs as an advanced nurse practitioner which is the most senior clinical nursing position i started as a carer myself and so i'm passionate about bringing to you the best opportunities to move to the UK with free visa sponsorship as well as progressing in your career in the UK so that ultimately the goal is to work less, earn a lot more money and get to retire early because that's why we're here, right? We're not here to work till we drop. So I wanted to leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this because implementation is key. If you're just hearing information, and you're not implementing it, it's going to lead to nothing. So please leave a comment and say, Melvis, I will implement this. You're also going to find my contact details in the comment section below. There's my WhatsApp number. So if you need that one-to-one -one guidance, one-to-one -one support, you've got questions, you need that tailored guidance, then do feel free to contact me. Otherwise, join my free newsletter, which is, on, you know, the link is on the comment section below. And then I send that information directly to your inbox when it becomes available so that you're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm because this is vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development. So what is really going on with the UK visit visa? You know, if you come to the UK as a visitor, are you able to work in the UK? That's what we're talking about in today's video because like I say, there's been more and more of this over the last three months, but the government has made some updates regarding the visit visa. What is the first thing? The first thing you must know, by the way, is that all UK visit visas are not the same. The reason for your visit is going to determine what you can and can't do while you're visiting in the UK, which means if you see person one, this thing in the UK and doing something, it doesn't mean that person two can do that because they may all have visit visas in the UK, but the reasons for their visit not the same. You've also got to assess your situation and see, are you able to afford coming to the UK as a visitor? Because let me tell you, some of the pathways that seem really easy to get to the UK tend to be some of the most expensive. For example, coming to the UK on a student visa it's one of the most straightforward ways to come to the UK, but it is the most expensive way, which means that if you're somebody who is broke, you haven't got money, that is not a pathway for you to consider. And I'm saying this with all due respect because it is expensive to do so. Similarly, if you're on a student visa and you're a family of five and you choose to come to the UK with all of your family, you've also got to make sure that you've got money because it is pretty expensive. So that's what I'm saying. Different visas are different. It's the same for this visit visa. If you're somebody who is broke, you know, you haven't got any money, you don't have anybody in the UK, please do not consider coming to the UK on a visit visa when actually your intention is to work in the UK. I'm saying this because the likelihood that you're going to be stranded is going to be 99%. And I know that YouTube is a place where People want to just feel like everything is easy, everything is smooth, life is perfect. It is not. For many people, the hardest times you're going to have in your life will be when you move to this country, the UK. You're going to sit there and think to yourself, oh my goodness, was I better back home? But that's a stage that we all go through at some point. And so if you don't assess your situation properly and thoroughly, don't consider this visit visa. Because if you're visiting friends, family, or you're coming as a tourist, for example, you're not allowed to work, you're not allowed to apply for jobs, you're not allowed to do interviews, you cannot do anything whatsoever than just come in, look around, admire the country, go to bed, sleep, wake up, and return home. That's what you're going to be doing on that visa. Because that is the reason for your visit. 
Then scenario number two is where you're coming to the UK as a visit visa, but your reason for coming is study. That's what I'm saying. They're not the same. So the, the reason for your visit is to study, but you have a visitor visa. And this is for people that if you're coming, to, let's say, for example, you're a nurse and you're coming to do your exams in the UK, that's a visa that you get. If you're also coming to the UK to do like a placement, so like work experience, unpaid work experience for less than six months, that's a visa that you get, which doesn't allow you to do any paid jobs, but it allows you to do a placement. So the two things, again, are not the same, which means that on this visa, you are legally not allowed to do any paid work whatsoever that's the third um case scenario the third type of visa visa it allows you to do a lot more but we're going to cover that as well and by the way if you're enjoying this content just hit the like button it lets me know that you enjoy content like this and obviously i should do more also share this with your friends loved ones colleagues so that they're aware of what you know some of these rules some of these opportunities are and they can make more informed choices about their travel plans to the uk because like i say what works for a may not necessarily work for b some people have relatives in the uk some people are very wealthy they can afford to come to the uk to do sightseeing and go back not everybody can afford that so if you are watching youtube videos and looking for information be very careful what information you're taking and implementing because it's going to have massive consequences on you and by the time you're going through all of that there's going to be nobody with you you're going to be stuck alone and i'm saying this you know very good faith so that you are fully aware and you follow a pathway that is legit a pathway that is safe a pathway that you get to the uk and you're genuinely going to feel like it was worthwhile coming to this country and so that's what this is about if you're not aware I do have a private career coaching program where I offer one-to-one -one tailored, individualized, and personalized guidance. If you check the description box below or the about screen of this channel, you're going to see all the information there about my private coaching program. So that if you're looking for free visa sponsorship jobs, you're looking to switch within the UK, you're looking for NHS jobs, how to bring your dependents to the UK, you're looking for apprenticeships so you can be paid to work and study at the same time, or you're looking for career progression opportunities to transition into more senior positions, then obviously I'm your girl. I also have lots of free resources to support you, to help you with that decision making. So again, you check the description box below. All those resources are there completely free so that you're better supported through this UK journey. Because like I say, I started as a care of myself and I've gone one step to another to then getting to the most senior clinical nursing position and i can tell you it is not a walk in the park consistency getting legit information that it's tailored to your specific circumstances is really what's going to make all the difference the third case scenario is where you're traveling to the uk on a visit visa but for business reasons so with this one for example you can have people that are working remotely for a uk company if they have like say a meeting in the uk or you're coming to do a presentation you can come with this visa to do that presentation you're not allowed to work while you're in the uk even for the company that is already employing you it is not allowed and the uk government has specifically said on their website that if you're applying for this visa to come to the uk if your uk employer wants you to carry on working from the uk they need to give you a skilled worker visa, which means that as of today, there is no situation whatsoever where you can work on a UK visit visa. Check this out here.